welcome back. Now, it didn't take us long to whip the kitchen into shape, having started life as a tired old bedroom come storage room. And the person responsible for that eye-catching colour scheme was Louise Richardson, lifestyle editor of the New Zealand Women's Weekly. So, Louise, you've been very brave. Yes, it's rather daring, isn't it, Jude? I think it's come up really well, though. My heart was in my mouth when I walked in and looked at this for the first time when the painters had been, but it works. It looks fabulous. Why did you choose these colours? I find green really restful, uh, but it's also very vibrant. It's stimulating. It's wonderful. Well, Kathy, you're a Dulux colour consultant. What think you of Louise's choices? I think it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Well done. Brilliant. I wish more people would have the courage to do exactly what Louise has done. Brilliant to see people so confident with strong colours. Very, very good. Very bold. OK. Congratulations. Bold. Are there any rules about colour? I like to think there aren't, but I think there are some guidelines you've got to be careful of because so long as the, you can put sort of clever combinations together um, and, and be confident about doing that as, as Louise has been, but I like to think there aren't any rules and you can take a few brave steps and, and have a success with it. Because Louise, you've said to me before that, oh well, if you don't like it, you just slap another colour on top. That's what's the wonderful thing about paint. It's just so cheap and versatile mm -hmm. and, and you might wake up next week and think, well, Green walls were nice, but I think I have pale blue now, and off you go and get a pot of paint. It's as easy and quick as that. Do you think it'll date? I think so. I think the walls will have a, a use-by date, but Louise has been quite clever in getting the cabinetry in colours that I consider quite classic, and they will stand the test of time, and then whoever wants to repaint whatever colour they can do so. And one room that desperately needed a repaint and a bit of imagination was the drab front porch. But first, the hard work. Our painter, Ron Johnston, says there's only three things to remember when painting a house. Preparation, preparation, and more preparation. Once Ron's sanded back, he can get on with painting the ceiling excellent painter, and he's made a wonderful job of the porch, using Louise's choice of bold and vibrant colours. So, Louise, what are we trying to create here? Oh, I think this is probably really a ladies' room. It's a lovely place for ladies to come away ladies. from the... Ladies? The ladies still exist. <laughs> away from all the hustle and bustle at the other end of the house where the family are, perhaps before tea. It's a nice place for Mum to come and have a glass of wine and read the Women's Weekly. Um, using paint is a good idea because paint's a wonderful way to achieve a, a really great new look without spending a lot of money. Uh, and that's what we did in here. So this has been quite inexpensive. What about the choice of colour? Pretty brave. Oh, it is, isn't it? It's um, really over the top, but rather gloriously so, I think. The green and the blue look really good together, and um, the green is actually, well, it's got a very wicked-sounding name. It's Jezebel from Dulux. What were you influenced by? Was it like the fan light that the, the green anyway? I mean, why didn't you go, say, yellow and blue or, I don't know, white and red? No, well, I did look at Not the fan light. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We could have had red, white and blue and been really patriotic. Oh, yes. No, I did look at the fan lights and I thought, well, we needed to incorporate the green somewhere. Um, but green is also a very restful colour. Green's very good for you. Um, a colour specialist told me recently that green is the easiest colour to look at. For some reason, the eye reacts differently to green, to any other colour. And it's the most relaxing colour that there is. And I've always decorated just about everything I own in green. And I'm reasonably relaxed. Yes, you appear to be quite relaxed. But, um, was it also the idea of sort of bringing the outdoors in? Because I noticed you put a bit of greenery around here. Yeah, I'm really passionate about that too. Um, this house didn't quite lend itself to having a conservatory, and strictly speaking, this isn't at the right end of the house either. Um, but in here, even on a dull day, you can imagine that you're somewhere much. Well, I can do. And next week, we show you how we transformed this former ugly duckling into the cheerful, warm family room that you see before you today. We also take a look at the smallest room in the house, part of the new improved laundry area. And protecting it all from the baddies, we talk to Dan Dudson, a reformed crim, about home security. So I'll see you then. Night-night.